Highway Patrol hopes to have the accident cleared by 9.30. My advice? Skip rush hour, head to the beach, or crank on the air conditioning. It's gonna be a scorcher. Highs and coats seeking well into the night. In other news, the Car 23, this is Doug. And uh, how may I help you, sir? Heather, please. I can't afford to replace you mid-season. The transfer is best for both of us, Pete. So how long have you been seeing him? We're not together anymore. We're not talking about this. It's just a hiccup. I want to get married and have kids. So you don't. You call that a hiccup? We'll work it out. Okay, look, You've had three boss. years. I'm moving on. We'll see what we can figure out. Really... All the people to choose. Let's do my best to help you, I didn't know who he was when I, I met him. That, uh, okay. Well, he's going to know who I am when we meet. We'll Trust me. Okay. Well, that's nice typical. Day, Speech is my responsibility. Not a day goes by without someone complaining about that monstrosity this guy's renovating. Complain of the day? What? Uh, the workers have blocked off part of the north parking lot. It's public property. What the hell do these guys think they are? Well, I spoke to the guy in charge about half an hour ago. He says uh, it's only temporary, you know, keep people away from the construction vehicles and so on. Yeah, it's temporary, all right. I uh, better call your friend, tell him to take an early lunch. Uh, Pete? Pete? Pete, wait up. Pete. Don't you think you should cool Hold off out, a bit Doug. before? Barb, you got next patrol. Get on it. Yeah, sure. Well, what's with him? Romantic problems. Isn't love wonderful? Well, I've never seen me getting in that deep. Life was a little shaky this morning. You aren't alone. A 5.5 tremor registered just off the coast at 6:15. Thankfully, there was no damage reported.
That's okay. No, no, really. Don't worry. I can handle it. Can you just not be there? I don't want anyone getting hurt. <laughs> Forget that. I'm not running away from anybody, least of all him. Look, it's just better we get this thing settled anyway. We'll just try not to provoke him. Promise. Trust me. Okay. Well, call me afterwards. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Don't call me Dougie. What do you say, Barb? Should we let her off the hook? No. No one gets signed off till they do their full 100 hours. Do you know how long 100 hours is? Come on. It's community service. Like, who cares, you know? We do. Doug, please cut me some slack. Sorry, kid. No can do. Why not? Because you need to take responsibility for your actions. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I made one mistake, and I have to pay for it for the rest of my life. 100 hours isn't exactly the rest of your life. Ooh, wait. This is a good one. Ooh, yeah. Be my itchy, bitchy. It's the future of America. Makes her proud, doesn't it? Ooh, yeah. She'll sign it for me. Heather, wait! She hasn't got a prayer. Heather, wait, will you sign this? Later. Excuse me, I was... Oh. <laughs> Do I know you? Well, is that a philosophical question? Mm. Is it ever possible to really know somebody? I don't know. <laughs> You're fired. What are you doing here? Well, I was, uh... I was looking for Lost and Found. I found this. I'm oh. saying. My God. You found this? Where? Oh, just over there. It's beautiful. <laughs> Oh, I think so. Ooh, maybe we should see if it fits. Hey. Wow. Whoever gets this back is going to be very happy. Tell you what. Marry me. And they might let you keep it. You're kidding. No, I'm not. And this would be the point where you say, yes, darling, I'll marry you. No, 
Really? Right now? Yeah, right now. I, I got your whole family in the car, and I got a minister <laughs> right here in my son. No, not right now. When? Oh, you haven't said yes. Yes, when? <laughs> so I was thinking maybe the day after we graduate. Why do we have to wait so long? Well, think about it. You'll be a marine biologist Jeez. by then. So? Well, think about it. Think about the prestige. Big nobody, Ron Conroy, weds Dr. Barbara Simmons, Ph.D. You are not a nobody. <laughs> You're my guy. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Dr. Barbara Simmons. I like it. Fits. It's good. It's scaring me a little bit yeah. now. Yeah, well, I got a bachelor's degree in theater arts, and I'm unemployed, so you know what? You, you should be scared. You're gonna make it big someday. Kiss me, stupid. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> guys, guys, come on. Get a room. What are you what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> he asked me to marry him. Seriously? <sighs> yeah. Well, congratulations. That's great. Heather, sweetheart, best friend. Do you think there's some way I can maybe get an hour off? Now? Yeah, you know, we just want to hold hands or something. Uh, Private? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 20 minutes. You're not gonna go postal on us, are you? Uh, no, just uh, pig hunting. Uh, some friends are taking me up the coast for a few days. So when do we leave? Mm, it's guys only. You're uh, not gonna wear that to work, are you? No, I have a bikini top underneath. I guess this job does have its benefits. Here, unzip me. Do you uh, work guys like this all the time? Only when I want something. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't.
you wish. What? I've been out there for hours. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. It wasn't even $20 worth of stuff. But you did steal it, right? Well, it wasn't like I stole it from a person. It was a department store, and they overcharge people anyway. It's not like they don't have insurance. What's the big deal? You know, you're awfully tall for a five-year-old. You know, I could never date a guy like you, seriously. But I have no reason to live. Don't even think about asking me out. I won't. Oh, please, you're so totally into me. Admit it. It's true. I, I can't live without you. But I'll try. Heather, we got a complaint about some party or parasailing. Can you check it out? your boss. Sure. You Smith? It's around the corner. Let me guess. You're Mr. Chavez. Can you blast him? There's some deep rock we're channeling into. We have a power license. Can I see it? I'll show it to a city inspector. Anything else? You gotta open up the parking lot. It's temporary. It keeps people out of harm's way. It's a public parking space. You can't just seal it off for your own convenience. Look, let's quit beating around the bush here, okay? We both know what this is all about. Yeah, it's about people not being able to park. It's about keeping their cars from being damaged by the trucks going in and out. We both know you wouldn't be here if I wasn't seeing your ex. Why don't we leave Heather out of this? I'm just here doing my job, that's all. Yeah. Look, you got your own parking lot. And now, you're taking 25 spaces that belong to the county. So what I'm gonna need you to do is go ahead and move that access road about 100 feet to the left. We're digging there, putting in a pool. Looks like you're out of luck.
affected by our underwater earthquake. Whale sightings have been reported all along the coast, including... alert to the entire west coast of Southern California and the Baja Peninsula issued by NAA Hawaii. Close all beaches immediately, move to high ground. Repeat, close all beaches immediately, move to high ground. Acknowledged. Get your people to safety. Anybody copy? This is Doug. Doug, sound the alarm and clear the beach. And get up to the parking lot, make sure everyone gets out safe. Yeah, got it. What, what's up? It's a tsunami. Jenny, come on! Mom! Help me! What's wrong, Doug? Get out of here. Just get to your car and go! Oh, come on. Is this a test? We gotta clear the beach. It's a tsunami. It's a what? Why are you wasting time? Just get out of here. Run. Come in. Go. Go. Maybe it won't be as bad as they think. George, this is the real deal. Think earthquake, only a lot wetter. Bags of cement up against the windows and doors. Maybe keep some of the water out. Good. You guys hit the road. I'll be along later. You're not leaving? Are you nuts? I've got everything I own tied up in this renovation. I lose this job and our gear, I got nothing. Is it worth your life? I'm staying. Stamp her, you crazy. Where's your car? Over there. Get out of here as fast as you can. Is it really that bad? Just go!
Shoot it, it's still alive! No, 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 wait, wait, wait! Get back, are you inside? This is amazing. What is it? It's a goblin shark. I don't care what it is, kill it! No, 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 listen! Goblin sharks were thought to be extinct. They're extremely rare. What are you talking about? This is incredible! This is a major find. We need to figure out a way to save this. Look, we don't have any time for that. Just kill it. No, you can't! You can't! <gasps> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Kill it! Don't. Oh. Station one. Oh, hell. A devastating killer wave described as a wall of water 100 feet high has hammered the coast of California. The L.A. County Emergency Response Team reporting moments ago by shortwave that their offices and equipment are currently under 30 feet of water, all rescue efforts now being hampered by debris. Making landfall at 10.17 a.m. local time, Caltech Instruments have measured this killer wave to be larger than the tsunami that hit Indonesia back in 2004. Now the mayor of Los Angeles is appealing to all off-duty first responders to get to their nearest disaster relief center. Stay tuned for more details. Heather.
You'll live. <laughs> Will I lose my leg? No, you just need stitches as well. Gotta get it to a hospital. Okay, well, let's see where we stand. Okay. We got a quarter mile from land. We're in trouble, we're not alone. You can put a pressure bandage on that. No. She needs stitches. There's no anesthetic. Can it wait? She's losing too much blood. We're gonna close it up. Electronics are out, towers are down. I don't know, maybe both. Please, hold her down. What? What are you talking about? What are you doing? I need to close up your leg and it's gonna hurt. No! You're not a doctor! No, I'm not, you're right. But if I don't, you'll bleed to death. Well, get her away from me! I want an ambulance! There are no ambulances, okay? There's no phones and there's no vehicles. I don't care! Get her away from me! Jenny, listen! Listen to me. If I don't stitch this up, you'll die. Do you hear me? You'll die. She's right. You're losing too much blood. Hold her. I can't believe this is happening. Hey guys, we still got power. Damage is severe in many areas as far inland as Santa Monica, where houses and buildings have all been washed away. Rescue efforts have been hampered by power outages all along the coast. Casualties are estimated to be in the hundreds. Look, boss, face it. There's nothing you can do for her. I gotta find a way out there. See if she's alive. It's too risky. The rescue crew will come by. There's no rescue crew coming for us. We're on our own. Hold her. How many of those sharks do you think are out there? I saw four or five of them. One was big. I mean, big. The water keeps rising. We can't stay here. I mean, there's no telling when another wave might hit. That a boat, we don't stand a chance. Can't one of us swim back to shore and get a boat? Look, you don't get it. Okay, these things are big and they're fast. They caught up to our jet ski. Come on, that's not possible. Is it? There's a flare gun around here somewhere. In, in the cupboard below. There's an inflatable raft there as well. Can we use that to get back to shore? No more raft. Won't stand a chance to get those sharks. But the flare would at least let someone know we're here. Yeah? There's no telling how far the wave washed that cupboard. Hold her. Hang in there. How does a prehistoric shark like this end up the coast of Malibu? I mean, is that possible? I don't know, maybe the tsunami shook something up. Is that help? See if you can raise someone. 
This is Malibu Lifeguard Station 23. We have an emergency. This is Malibu Lifeguard Station 23. Dispatch, can you respond? It's complete devastation. The damage spread from San Francisco to San Diego. The governor has declared a state of emergency. This is Malibu Lifeguard Station 23. Does anybody read me? Malibu Lifeguard Station 23, anybody? They'll come for us, won't they? They won't even know we're here. We'll soon be evacuated like everybody else. But this thing's big. Right up the coast, Northern California, which means rescue parties gonna be few and far between. Appealing for calm, the governor offered hope, announcing the entire coast has now been designated a disaster area. Speaking from a rescue chopper heading for the coast, he told those in distress that National Guard troops, the Coast Guard and FEMA are mobilizing immediate rescue and relief operations, and that hospitals as far away as Las Vegas are preparing to accept thousands of casualties. Experts say the sloping coast of Malibu may have contributed to the area being the hardest hit. All the lawyers will have drowned. <laughs> How you feeling? I think I stuck my leg in a blender. You did good, kid. How does it look? I can't even tell it's there. It's good. Oh, jeez! What have you done to me? Well, under the circumstances, the best that I could. Look at my leg! Hey, she just saved your life. I'm sorry, it's just... I think it'd take a little more than this. All I got are my looks, you know? That's not true. I'll never be able to wear a bikini. Sure you will. A little plastic shows you'll be fine. Look, I'm gonna have to bandage this up. Main thing is gonna be trying to keep it dry. Yeah. I need you to tell me about those sharks. I mean, I don't know much. I can remember they're from a llama form. Excuse me? Same species as the great white. OK. What about their eyes? They look like they're blind. They probably are. I mean, at the depths that they used to live at, apparently still do, there's no light. They use sound waves and movement to track their prey. What, what do you mean, like bats? Similar. They have electrosensory organs in their long snouts. Wow. Like radar. Perfect. Yeah. Unless you're the one they're chasing. Yeah, for sure. OK, so do you guys have any other weapons here? Shots left. Yeah. We got these. And you figure to kill these sharks before they get in here, right? I don't know why we assume we have to kill them. I mean, look, as long as they're out there, we're safe in here, right? Yeah, as long as they're out there. No problem. All right. Look, I can't tell you how important this could be. A species of shark that hasn't been seen on this earth for millions of years. It's astounding. If we could somehow capture it, I mean, the evolutionary data that could be generated, the pure science of it, it's, I mean, just what if there's, what if there's something else down there? Look, 
Barb, nobody wants to make his species extinct. Okay, but right now, look, we're just talking about survival of the fittest. He's right, Barb. Okay. I understand their attitude, but I kind of need your support. Look, I support you always. I just don't want anything to happen to you. Nobody understands the importance of this. <sighs> Okay. Better show me how to use one of these things. All right. Give me. Swing for it. I can look after Jenny. You can take Brian. No. No, we wouldn't stand a chance against those sharks. They are in a jet ski. We can't just wait here and let them pick us up one by one. Okay. So we make a stand here and kill it. Survive, Brian. Oh, don't tell me what Barb would have wanted, okay? She wanted us to try and save these sharks. And now she's dead. Shh, shh, it's gonna be okay. We'll get you through this. Shh. No, don't, don't, don't patronize me, all right? These aren't ordinary sharks. They're never going to give up. They're going to kill us all. They will if you don't shut up. We're all tired here, so you might as well sit down and shut up. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Relax.
George, throw the tools over here. Where's Colton Yancey? Around the back, I think. You can just wait it out. You know, you, uh, you don't have to do this. I can make that easy. You know I'm the better swimmer. All right, listen, you just be careful. You find a boat, you bring it straight back, okay? Yeah. All right. <sighs> You'll be okay. All right, good luck. Okay. for the shore. What? The shark! It killed us! It's hey, dead! Hey, hey, hey. There's nothing we can do now. Come on. Let's give me a minute. inside. That's not gonna happen again, I promise. We're ready for this. Okay. below. Okay, well, at least we still have experiments. There's still more of them. Can't we kill them all? We don't need more bullets. Yeah. Yeah. Think it works? I think so. about the tsunami, I just... I wanted to get in the car and go. She wanted to stay and help out. I just loved her so much, you know? She loved you, too.
And all I can remember is her being torn apart. Yeah, you can't. You, you can't. Don't do it. Don't dwell on that. Don't. Not much gas. Break her up and see if she runs. Oh, we got water in the fuel line. Ah. Well, I'll have to break it down. Let's go see if you can find a can of gas out there somewhere. Sure, boss. I'll go. What? Forget it. It's my idea. Well, I'm still in charge, right? So I'm going. You want to fight about it? Let him go. You can outswim anyone above water. But underwater, Pete's a man. But nobody I've ever known can hold their breath for as long as he can. Let him go. I don't like it. Well, I'm not asking you to like it. What I am asking you to do is keep an eye on things up here while I'm gone. You think you can trust me for five minutes? Yeah, I think you can handle it. You owe me. Yeah. We'll keep watch. We'll distract them. We'll tap on the floor. North, south, Doug and I'll take east and west. OK. Let's do this. Brian, I need your help, OK? I need you to help me, please. <laughs> No gas. Got washed away. Ah, you got the gel ignite. Yeah. I figured it'd be better than going out there with nothing but good intentions. Good idea. We're not going to shore. Not straight away. What do you mean, not straight away? Colin, we don't have enough gas. They need our help. We'll send somebody back for them. It might be too late. There's sharks out there, and that shack is half submerged. I'm taking a big chance. You saw what happened to Carl. I'm going out there, with or without you. The way I see it, half this boat is mine. I found it. And I fixed it. And I'm taking my half out there, and you do what you want with yours.
Let's distract them. Over here. Let's go. Flare on the shark. God! Oh. Did you miss me? Yeah, I did. It's okay. Your face. Where's Heather? She's underneath the others. Looks like we got a ride. Doug, help everyone up. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Easy, watch your leg.
this would happen. All right, guys, listen up. We're gonna have to drift in, okay? As the sun sets on this indescribable day of death and destruction, evidence of the tragedy continues to wash up on the shore all around us. We can take some solace in the quick response of authorities. Up and down the coast now, the rescue effort is well underway. Military and civilian helicopters are shuttling the injured to first aid stations inland. Meanwhile, buses are taking the stranded to disaster relief centers. Further south, San Diego Fire and Rescue are estimating the death toll in that city at 850 and climbing. But they are also crediting early warning with saving thousands of lives. Taken on water. Okay. We got about 25 feet to go. We're gonna have to swim for it. No! I've lost already two guys to these sharks. Well, what other options do we have? George! George, what are you Shh, doing? Shh, keep it down. George! I'm gonna open the gate. Go quick!
are you on the inside? Do you think it's gone? Come on. Oh! Sorry. There's bottled water somewhere. Well, I get an infection. Well, Seawater shouldn't be so bad, but this place is pretty filthy. We'll have you out of here before you need to worry, okay? Here. We need to find the others. I need to find a ladder up to the next floor. Once we have a safe haven, we can talk them up to us the safest way. It's down that way. Two rooms away. Hope it survived the wave. I'll stay with Jenny. I won't be long. I've heard stories of sharks being able to come up on dry land and get people. Can they do that? Uh, only if they wear sneakers. Funny.
I'll get ready in later. Now you bang on the side. Get us come over here. Okay? Yeah. You risked your life for me. That's what I get paid for. Is that the only reason? What, you want me to tell you I like you? Only if you really do. Okay, I like you. 
So what? So, nothing. Jenny and Doc, are they okay? They're in the storage area, back that way. Killed another one. Is there any more out there? I don't think so. Yet. Okay. So how do we get out of the water? Find the ladder that used to go up there. Problem, you and I? I'd say so, yeah. I can make her happy. Yeah, so can I. You had your chance. Well, people have troubles. Doesn't mean they gotta bust up. No. But she's ready to move on. We'll see. For now, why don't we just concentrate on keeping her alive? I'm up for that. Take our chances out in the water again. Or we make you stand here and we kill that thing.
When the stories of this disaster are told, we will no doubt hear of hundreds, if not thousands, of individual acts of courage, self-sacrifice, and incredible heroism. Our thoughts and prayers are with the people of California as they struggle to face a brighter tomorrow. We'll get you to a hospital. I'm okay. Actually, I'm great. I think the judge will consider your time served. No, I still have 20 more hours. You don't have to. I want to. I think being a lifeguard could be fun. Well, we'll uh, start your training with the time you got left. Uh, I'll fill out the paperwork when we get back. You will? Sure. A lot of people's lives are going to change from this. Yeah. Well, hopefully things work out better. For everyone. I think starting fresh is best. Toss away the old. Grab hold of the new. You guys went to preschool, kindergarten, something, right? How are you about sharing your toys? I guess I'm just gonna have to flip a coin.